should hold up. Get off the ladder, bud. Alright. So we got some new parts. We jumped through a lot of those really quickly. Looks much better. Sad that a whole bunch of those were for our back and our front. They could have given us a little bit more variety there. Looks like wholesome, a tidy little cave. Oh, one of the oozes in the mech. Come on, man. At least being underground keeps you out of the weather. That looks like a nice bird. Open this door. Ooh. Like the look of that. A lot less armor to it though, so we need to go and look at upgrading it. That's four add-on spots too. Legendary gun barrel. Very nice. We need to take a minute and just really sit down and min max some equipment for us. I have no idea what we picked up there. It went by too quick. There's still more stuff in here. It's not completed. Come on. Plenty more in here still. Need an add on or a weapon for. Such a bright day to wander around in. Look at all the good stuff left in here. It was not by any means done. The bunker. We need to get back down there though for our next box. Me back down, man.
All right. Down to the open, we can look at those mech parts. You're the scrap monster now. The Grotto. It's deep enough to explore. We're on the ropes. was mean. Excellent. The tree of life still stands. Question is, for how long? Some very nice items we just got. Yeah. Where's our next box at? All the way around. Uh, is there a way through? Yeah, there's a way through. That's a bit of a walk, though. I can try jumping that. I feel like it'll end poorly. But that's what we have a save button for. Let's try it. Ah, we did it. Cool. Take you on again, you hell pig. Come on. Great shot. I still have the crap beat out of me from the robots. Oh no. I 
got very scary in the middle of that. <laughs> that sudden you realization. Right, How far off did that go? It goes, man. It goes. There is so much more. Oh, there's the... There's the Chaos Beast. Puff Beast, whatever, whatever. World Leader. World Leader. That's what it's called. World Leader. Back to your own stompers. You found Bionucleus 8C. These towers are one of the main reasons the old world went Ooh, here we go. We've got a biohazard mask with me now, too. Thankfully, these guys will actually give us some bio globs, and we might just be able to fudge this a little bit. Stop helicopter and get on the ground. Swing, batter. I know you don't like this it, area Harry. is bio contaminated. Yep, thank it's you. It's really I caught that. hazardous. I caught that. Thank you for not stopping to puke in the middle of combat. Let's see. Now, if we're lucky, I'm more strength going on. If we're lucky, we'll have enough. I, oh, I think we're lucky. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hundred percent across the board. Now some of that is coming from our gear, so I am sure that that will change as we change stuff out. But at least in the meantime, we should be one hundred percent okay in here. Not a problem. This won't be a field trip. It's the real thing. I Means that we can get some high quality gear out of here. Ideally, anyway. You'd think they put high quality gear in a in a hazard place like this. So ideally we'll be able to get some high quality gear out of here with minimal stress, because we're not gonna be worrying about a bar filling up and absolutely ruining us. Okay, we got that now. What if we're gonna need to upgrade our net at some point too? Probably. I'd follow the theme. Big oil spill there. Would love to see it. There's more bio points down there. How do we get down there, though? Is there an entrance on our map somewhere? Is 
vents open. And I have to look around. I want those bio blobs. <laughs> We start looking into more of our biotic abilities now too, since we have our resistances maxed out. That is green soup. The light is nearly blinding. Do we have to worry about green soup? We still have to worry about green soup, even with 100% resistance. It just protects us from the air. I found the down. Back to the beam. Jump down the ladder. Oh, pretty bad. Pretty bad, actually. We don't like that. That? That might be a bio pool. That's a boss. That's a boss. How bad could it be, he says. There's a literal boss. Bottom of the hole you're looking at. That's how bad it can be. Oh, they're level 21. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Do all of that. Oh, I grabbed him with that. Wow. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Oh. Sorry about getting so quiet there. That was very startling. <laughs> That's active biocontaminated sludge. Enough goo to cause a flux at a molecular level. I guess I want that. free to spit out that awful taste in your mouth so I can change my character there I can change my breed if you would that is cool I'll have to remember that that is there and usable
Found the spot. We opened up the shortcut Let's see. for it. Could be good. And we are by our mech box. Yes, more bio plants. Come here. Find them back. I don't know how I did tsunami toss off of that. So it's not even remotely the input face. for that combo. Okay though. Not expected. <laughs> all right next box is over that way There's still more stuff to find in here but i've been having the super loot to, uh, oh, there's two bio block containers in here where haven't we been really inside that building yeah there is all right simpler way inside the building too. Is any of our biopods here? Can we get up there at all? I don't think so. I don't see anything up there we're grabbing either. There might be something here though. Anything? Anything? Boxes were suspiciously placed, so I wanted to double check. Not getting anything. Ah, that's our past drop of flag. Other buildings in here we didn't check. I remember checking this long building over here. There is the pry bar that we didn't know we did check that long building. But we need the pry bar. Probably where the rest of the stuff is in here. And we do have that side quest to find Pebble now, so it won't be very difficult to get that upgrade. We just gotta go to him. Do whatever side quest he wants us to do, and we'll have the upgrade, and we can fast travel back and do that. Let's fast way over that epoxy zone. There's a down spot right there. And that shall be it. I'm glad to be out of the green. It wasn't awful, but it was kind of hard on the eyes after a little bit. Let's 
Let's see. Gulp in some air. Got some new parts for you. Oh, finally. I don't like either one of those. We're gonna have to go with the dragon head. There isn't anybody down there. Do it. Can I get help out of you? He looks kind of stuck, so he might be able to get on it. He's probably stuck right there, and we can't fight him. Not getting any combat music. I'm not getting the health bar. I could do without the death robots. Right where it cuts. All fired up. That attack right there. I don't even think we can dodge it in the back. How do I do that? Stop to rest. Don't see that every day. These steel legs were made for walking. Let's see. Hey, 
we got going on here? You never know how long anything's been buried underground. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Woo! I was gonna stop prior little guy there again. Just a few moves left. Make them count. It's a lot of old world. Just hold on tight. Could have told us to go over there while we were over there. What I mean? That day, that we made it. We're getting to go. Some storm do here. Like place like this is a fire trap. Okay. okay. Not for sure. He died. Nope. Because I tried with some of those. How did I get? I'm following the wrong way. Find there's a sunset. That's how I got turned it. around. Yeah, no, that explains a lot. I could always do the smart thing and just activate that. If we that down, we have as my currently tracked quest. But I don't want to forget about Mog. Moog, 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 definitely Moog. Come on, crack them. 
simplest thing. Dead already. This story is as powerful as you let it be. I think we can buy a new Psy power with that. Let me check really quick. And... Bad. Your other stamina bar pretty bad now. Shop shop. That's one just over there. Go for But we have more of that is a sniper. Hold up. Have my undivided attention, sir. Level twenty three, sir. Uh, I'm fighting all of them, which is the problem. Pang pang. That they keep on doing that, man. Enough of that.
got one. Switch crack. Oh, what sorry, that was a sound. tough encounter. Snipers and baiters, flex up all that fun stuff. We're gonna start working on intellect next to get more of our energy bar. We have good abilities now to use. There are things out there waiting for you. Eggs. I hate all of them. Open this. Guess you still want more oh. than that. Boxes are left. Where are they at, for that matter? Because we should still have. Is that our last one? May have been the last one. I'm going to get us to a fast travel point near Moog. We're going to make our way over to Moog. It's a glory shiny day out here. Take another look at our mech here. <laughs> Terrifying. Didn't we get a... Yeah, we got the panda. Slot plate is probably gonna be our best bet. I feel like there should be more. Stomp's even harder. Might be missing some. I'm gonna have to double check. We're gonna go over to move for now, though. Barrels here. I don't want anything to do with them. Bang around. Oh, come on. 
so much damage. Where you're going, you don't need roads. I don't need the road, but there is no road. A bit of a difference there. Another pry bar. I think. Yeah, that's another pry bar right there. We have to go see Pebble very soon. That over there is Steepo Depot, the cliffside that Moog hangs on to. Let's see. This one's impressed to see you out here. He figured you'd be dead by now. Not many are as tough and clever as you must be. Says a monster hunter hears many things on the wind. Moog says that all your power doesn't do you a bit of good if you're not willing to pull the trigger when the time comes. Choosing what to kill and what to spare are the most important decisions you'll make. You might have a steady aim, but you need to be sure that you pick your targets with care. It's hard to make those life or death decisions for others, but someone's got to do it. Otherwise, they'll do it themselves and you know they'll miss. When it comes to monsters, he mostly picks who dies. Says it's wild that the world seems to be coming back, but he supposes that means more monsters for him to shoot. Wonders why you work so hard to keep things alive. Bullets help thin the herd instead. Says you should give up on working with the stubborn myriad. He keeps trying to put out their lights and they keep putting up new ones. Wow. He's afraid you're just as stubborn as them. But enough of that, right? He says the wildlife, nature, has changed and turned against us. Instincts of survival took over when the world changed. He's not sure about their veggie diet anymore, and if it's changed, who knows what it's done with the chemical composition of their body output. Right now, though, he feels he's come to a point where he's got a pretty clear idea on the whereabouts of monsters, both tall and short. Thinks that it all hangs on the tree of life. When it started to fail, everything changed. Mook says you must learn to walk before you can run. It takes practice before you can call yourself a monster hunter. Fortunately for you, he can help. He understands you need to start off with something small before you go big. There's no better place to start than a squip cave. Hunting down a couple of these little critters for yourself should keep you on your toes. Says it's not far at all. Fortunately for you, the squips seem to have acclimatized themselves to the otherwise uninhabitable dead zone. Give it to me. All right. Well, I'm going to stop the recording here. We will continue this in the next video. Oh, hold on. He still wants to talk to me.
Moog says you should go hunt for... Never mind, he doesn't want to talk to me. We'll continue this in the next video.